Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer here to kick off Group D for the tournament. And we got three exciting matches to go through here. Starting off with Xeno Slick Goku going up against one of the tournament debutants, Broxy. Team North America taking on Silver Knights. And then one of the matches of the group stages, Man going up against Lad. Wow, this is, this group is actually interesting because other than Xenos, everyone else is debuting. Well, like, well, the bot team doesn't really count. <laughs> but everyone else, I think, is actually debuting in my tournament for the first time. Well, does that give Xeno the edge in this group? We'll have to see, won't we? Right, let's get on with our first matchup of Xeno against Broxy. Right, let the fun begin and let's kick off Group D. Right, in the red corner for Xeno Select Goku, we have got Gigas. The Spectral Armor version, of course. And um, let's see what field we're on real quick. The Dirt Plains. So that will favor Lightning Dinosaurs, but we will not favor Wind Dinosaurs. We don't have any Blitz type or any Quick Strike users here, so we don't have to worry about that stuff. Backing up, Gigas. We got the pain in the ass. You want the Cephalus. Actually, not that much of a pain in the ass. It's just the texture. Like most of the Earth Dinosaurs. Just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh, I'm referring to modding, by the way, for those of you that do not know. Okie dokie then. In the blue corner, for our debutant Broxy, we have the Amargosaurus. Pretty much copying Diddy Darius from the last tournament using this thing. Okay, so Broxy wants to swap when the HP is in the red, and Zeno wants to swap when HP is below half. Okay, so actually no terrain advantages this time, because backing up the Amargosaurus, we got the Steg. So yeah, this is going to be just a straightforward matchup. No, no special rules or anything. So yeah, let's get on, let's get on with it. This could go either way. I think this type of advantage could be important here. Gives Broxy a chance. But if Gigas can get plenty of hits, we could see Spectral Lancer. Ooh, good start from Gygus. Type disadvantage, though, is going to be a bit of a killer there. Ooh, strong start from Gygus. Again, a crit. And what's this? It's the Flare Sword. And I think that will put Amargosaurus' HP in the red, so it will attempt to swap out next turn. A strong start from Xeno Slick Goku. Ooh, but the Amargosaurus gets off that softening beam, and it will have a chance to swap out and face the Gigas again. An important hit that could be for Broxy. Ooh, that's a tie. That will suit the stag. And look at that, a softening beam there, taking away a chunk of Gygus' health. Right, I believe Xeno will be attempting to swap. Ooh, ooh, I almost, almost messed that up then. Oh, another tie. Ooh, hang on a minute, we are going to see spectral armor. Oh, no, we're not. Gygus died. <laughs> what a letdown that was. <laughs> we just see the spectral armor. Nope, Gygus died. <laughs> and that, in fact, does put Broxy in the lead. So the softening beam proving efficient. And finally, someone gets a hit. And is Xeno Slick Goku. But this has been a clinical display so far from Broxy. Only got off one hit. But the hit was crucial. It was a softening beam. Oh, hang on a minute. Is the Steg going to survive this? I don't think it will. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. So Broxy will be attempting another swap out. Oh, but he's not getting it this time. Xeno Slick Goku makes sure of it. Takes out the Steg. And now it's one on one. And now I think Xeno is in the driving seat. Boosh. Okay, yeah. One hit from your Oplocephalus and it'll be game over for Broxy. Oh, or it, oh wait, he's got Earth Barrier. So he does get the Futaba Cannon off Broxy, but 
the Earth Barrier is going to limit the damage. Wait, he has got Earth Barrier, I think. I can't remember now. Oh, no, he doesn't. And well, actually, all of a sudden, it all comes down to this. Ooh, is it time? Well, I don't think we'll have a, t a, a draw because the Amargosaurus can survive another tie. Oh, no, there it is. Xeno Slick Goku getting the job done in the end in a tightly contested match. But we'll give credit to Broxy a valiant effort there. And in fact, because Europlocephalus was in the HP was in the red, Broxy will get a losing bonus point, And you never know how crucial that can be. So well played by both our combatants here on a thrilling opening match for Group D. Right, let's move on to our next matchup, shall we? Right, this should be interesting. In the red corner, for Team North America, we have got the Storacosaurus. Okay, we are on the meadow field. That will favour grass dinosaurs and fire dinosaurs. Well, I know Team North America doesn't have any, and I don't think Silver Knights has any of those either. Backing up the Storacosaurus, we got a Uteraptor. Surprisingly, no one actually u has used Uteraptor, which is really surprising, given how common it usually is in my tournaments. So I decided to put it in Team North America. Right the ho then! As for Silver Knights in the blue corner, as you can see, let's skip that, we have Spiny. Spiny. You know, we see it now and then. I think. It's the only anime dinosaur to feature in this tournament. Well, out of the main six. Yeah, there's no Chomp, there's no Ace. There's... Okay, there, I think there is Paris. Yes, there is Paris. Oh yeah, of course there's Terry as well. Okay, so okay, so not. <laughs> and there's Spiny and his tank, okay. <laughs> right, back in at Spiny, we got Euoplocephalus. This Euoplocephalus, a bit more beefier than the one we just saw. So, yeah, we're on the uh, meadow field. No terrain advantages to worry about. Team North America want to swap when HP is below half. And Broxy when HP is in the red. Ooh, that's a tie. That will suit Spiny. It is super tie type. Storacosaurus has the type advantage here. But it is Spiny landing the first blow. And it's a water sword. Boosh! But yeah, look at that type advantage there. Killer. Ooh, not good for Spiny, it's a crit. And an electric charge. Gonna buff up that attack even more. Well, Spiny did get the first hit, but it's Storacosaurus on top now. And I think with the electric charge buff and the type advantage, I think this could be lethal. Oh yes, definitely lethal. Well, from type advantage to type disadvantage, because now you want Lacephalus comes in. But this is a strong start from Team North America. Ooh, Quake Saber getting triggered there. I think he's going to need to get that Quake Saber off. Just to put an end to this Strachosaurus. Ooh, is that below half? That, I think that's just above half. And, oh, it's not good. At least the type advantage will spare the Euoplocephalus too much damage. And yeah, oh uh, no, this is not good. Not good, for, not good. Not good for Silver Knights. Okay, that will definitely take it above half. Even with a type advantage, the Uoplocephalus just can't get any hits. And yeah, there it is, game over. Wow, the bot team's doing well in this tournament. Well, except for uh, Team South America who suck, but it is a bonus point win for Team North America. Uh, it was quite a uh, killer match there for Silver Knights. Didn't really happen.
as for Team North America, a strong start. Hmm. Maybe I made the bot teams too strong. But now, now we're on to the match that we're all looking forward to. So let's not put it off any longer. Right then, let's not delay this matchup of man, man and lad, shall we? Okay, we're on the Sunset Beach. So, in the red corner, for man, we got a T-Rex. A powerhouse this T-Rex will have tight advantage over lad's first dinosaur, and given he's got all fire moves, yeah, our type of vantage could be killer. Okay, we are on the Sunset Beach Field, which favours water dinosaurs, like this Brontokin. But I will say, Lad also has a water dinosaur, so terrain advantage will could be a factor here. And well, no one has a grass dinosaur, so we don't need to worry about that. It's just the water dinosaurs that have terrain advantage. Right. In the blue corner, for our lad, we got the Indosuchus. Indosuchus, one of the un more unknown dinosaurs in the Dinosaur King game. Watch out for that Mayfly. Will It will do some damage, especially given this Rugops' strength type as well. Backing up the Rugops, we got kind of another unknown, the Nemegdosaurus. Lucky 7 type here. I think Glad might need a little bit of luck to win this match. Hey, that's what this tournament is all about. Nope, there's 100% skill involved. <laughs> but yeah, interesting that both of these guys' second dinosaurs have terrain advantage. They're both water types. Okay, so that's two and a third. Yeah. Start with a crit, why not? Oh, oh, and a shockwave support effect as well, because you need that. Right, well, Lad wants to swap when HP's in the yellow, and a man wants to swap when his HP's below half. But let's be honest, he's probably not going to get the T-Rex's HP below half. Oops, a tie. Oh, yeah, I actually forgot. Well, it would have been a tie anyway. Forgot the shockwave effect. And, yeah, there we go. There it goes. There goes into Sukas. But... This Nemegdosaurus is going to get a hit. And it's actually going to be a critical hit. And I tell you what, because it's lucky 7 type, I'll hit the button on 7. So, can Lad get back in this? A tragedy of the sphere, this could be crucial. Okay, so... Yes, the T-Rex will be attempting to swap. Use a tie. Itching to get the crit. Wow, they really want a crit, but he's not getting it. The Megasaurus is going to drag Lad back into this contest. Okay, well, they both have terrain advantage, so they cancel each other out, so no one will get a hit. Normally, Brontokins will get the first hit, but because the Nemectosaurus has type advantage, it cancels it out, so moves will be generated like normal. Ooh, that's a crit. Brontokins need no type advantage. He gets a hit anyway. Well, there's a good fight back from Lad, but I think it's going to be short-lived. Yep, yep, short-lived. Brontokins are a whole different level. In comparison to the T-Rex, anyway. And it is a win for the man! Oh, that was an exciting end, wasn't it? Not really, I was hoping it'd be a bit of a closer matchup, but oh well, that's how it goes. And it is man taking all the points. Right, let's have a look at how Group D stands. Well, I will say, Team North America topping the group with our bonus point win over Silver Knight. Xeno Slick Goku in second there. After their win against Broxy. And then Man. Also on three points. And then we have Broxy getting our solitary losing bonus point there. And then we have Lad and Silver Knight at the bottom. So let's see who plays who. So in round two we will see Silver Knights going up against Man. Broxy taking on Lad. Ooh that could be an important game for them too. And then a clash at the top between Xeno Slick Goku and Team North America. So round two could really shape up how Group D will finish. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. 
And well, in case you needed any reminded, make sure you don't miss the next tournament video, because the real fun begins when the hosts enter the party. And until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out. Thank you.